Yo, what's up? Slow Mo here with another video. This time, this video is not going to be about Borderlands or any of the other games that I always talk about all the time. This video is going to be about a brand new game by a brand new developer. This game is called Disintegration by developer V1 Interactive, published by Private Division. V1 Interactive is a brand new studio about of about it seems to be somewhat maybe 30 developers um so they're some small studio just starting out disintegration their first game is uh from what they're saying a sci-fi first person shooter which is right down my alley and i the re the big reason why i want to do this video is because i'm really excited about uh, the people who are involved in this yeah, it's a small studio, but they have a uh, major pedigree with among the people that are in it And to talk about some of these people the first person I'm gonna talk about is their president Marcus uh, Leto who is uh, the co-creator for Halo he was uh, also technically the arc director for nearly every Bungie game except for Halo Reach so that's Halo 1, 2, 3, and ODST. For Bungie, he he was the director over the art direction of the game. Um, he was also creative director for Halo Reach. And that, that's that's amazing. This guy is creative director over this game, Disintegration. And also, another guy that seems to be um, in high regard is Lee Wilson, who worked for Bungie for seven years. Um, he is a story and cinematics lead on this game, but he was also the story and cinematics lead for Destiny, Halo Reach, and Halo 3. And he spent about three years at Sucker Punch as their senior cinematics designer for, for Infamous Second Son. So this studio has a lot of pedigree. We, you got people here who have made uh, excellent first person shooters, some some just industry defining first person shooters. Through my research, I have uh, uncovered that they, this game is likely to be using Unreal Engine. So, I mean, Unreal Engine is a very versatile engine that a lot of smaller devs use because it, it allows them to get games out in a quicker uh, time period without actually having to develop their own engine, which does take some time. And it's very robust it can be used in many different types of games and first person shooters would be right down their alley so we should be seeing more from this game at gamescom starting august 20th this year so in another in another month hopefully they'll have some gameplay because uh this game is expected to be out sometime next year but uh, if you guys want to hear more about this integration, want to know more about this game, or want me to cover it more, uh, just you know, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like, the hit the like button, subscribe button, all that good stuff. Uh, have a good day and take care.